It's been revealed by the Times that an American asset was patrolling the Black Sea in the hours before the Moskva was hit by Ukrainian missiles. A Boeing P-8 Poseidon was within 100 miles or 160 kilometers of the Moskva on the day the Russian cruiser sustained catastrophic damage. On the 13th of April 2022, Ukrainian President Advisor Alexei Aristovich and Odessa Governor Maxim Marchenko said that Moskva had been hit by two Neptune anti-ship missiles and was on fire in rough seas. The ship sank later. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American P-8 Poseidon played a critical role in helping Ukraine sink Moskva. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play online military-themed strategy game, Conflict of Nations, which is played by millions of players worldwide. We talk a lot about military power and tactical plans of different nations on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? Conflict of Nations is set in the late 20th and early 21st century, fielding present-day and highly modern battlefield technology. At the core of the game is an exciting real-time combat system placing players in control of an existing nation of this world and its army, pitting them against other gamers in a struggle for world domination. Units are moved across the map in real time, often taking hours to fulfill their assigned mission goals, allowing for a very deep level of strategic planning and integrated tactical execution. Forming lasting alliances or short-lived coalitions is an essential part of the modern military environment. Hence, Conflict of Nations allows players to form cooperative plans and teams in an all-out effort to conquer set objectives through the combined force of arms. Conflict of Nations can be played in PC or mobile. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and get 13,000 gold reward along with one month Security Council membership. According to the Times, the P-8 took off from Italy and took up station on the Romanian Black Sea coast where it attempted to locate the position of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Since the invasion of Ukraine, a range of NATO surveillance platforms and drones have been monitoring Russian movements from the Polish coast along the Ukrainian border and down to the Black Sea. As per the Times, the P-8 left U.S. Naval Air Station Sigonella in Sicily on April 13, hours before the attack. Before reaching the Black Sea coastline, the Poseidon turned off its trackers so it could no longer be followed online. The aircraft was hidden for almost three hours before it returned to Flight Radar 24. Aviation data analyst Amelia Smith told the Times that there were slightly more U.S. aircraft covering the Black Sea coast on the day of the attack. However, the U.S. Navy refused to confirm if they assisted Ukraine with the attack by providing intelligence data. Viewers may note that the P-8, which costs about 330 million pounds or 430 million dollars, is one of the most sophisticated submarine hunting and warship tracking planes in the world. The P-8 Poseidon is developed by Boeing and is modified from the 737-800 ERX. It's capable of anti-submarine warfare (ASW), anti-surface warfare (ASUW), and shipping interdiction. It also has early warning self-protection (EWSP) ability. Powered by two CF M56 7B 27A turbofans that are capable of generating 121 kilonewtons of thrust, it's able to reach a maximum speed of 563 miles per hour or 907 kilometers per hour. It has a combat radius of 1,380 miles or 2,222 kilometers that enables it to cover large swaths of ocean. The flight management system and the store management system were developed by Smith's Aerospace. The system is based on an integrated open architecture, enabling compatibility with future upgrades. The cabin is fitted with up to seven operator consoles. P-8 
is equipped with AN APY 10 radar, which is installed on the enlarged nose fairing. The AN APY 10 radar provides the synthetic aperture radar SAR mode capability for imaging, detection, classification, and identification of stationary ships and small vessels, and for coastal and overland surveillance, as well as the high resolution imaging synthetic aperture radar. ISAR mode for imaging, detection, classification, and tracking of surfaced submarines and small, fast-moving vessels that operate in coastal waters. P-8 is fitted with the CAE Advanced Integrated Magnetic Anomaly Detection MAD, system. It is also able to drop and monitor sonar buoys, which are basically expendable sonar systems. P-8 possesses Northrop Grumman Electronic Warfare Self-Protection EWSP suite, which includes a Terma AN ALQ 213V Electronic Warfare Management System EWMS, a Northrop Grumman Directional Infrared Countermeasures DIRCM set, a Northrop Grumman Radar Warning System, and a BAE Systems Countermeasures Dispenser System. While the weapons have not been used on this occasion, the P-8 is capable of neutralizing targets on its own. P-8 has five internal and six external stations for weapons and can deploy AGM, 84HK Slam ER, AGM 84 Harpoon, Mark 54 Torpedo, missiles, mines, and SMART as well as freefall bombs. P-8's capabilities were appreciated by Indian forces when Indian Navy's Poseidon 8I was deployed to carry out surveillance on the movement of Chinese troops during the 73-day-long standoff between India and China in mountainous Daklam in 2017. Defense expert Captain D. K. Sharma stated, The P-8I aircraft were the most potent platform to carry out surveillance, be it sea or mountains. The aircraft were live-streaming data to support decision-making during the Daklam face-off. While the hit was accomplished using Ukraine's indigenous Neptune missile, it is very likely that location was provided by the P-8. Distraction by Bayraktar TB-2 drone, rough sea, potential incompetence of crew, and old defense hardware may have also played their part. The U.S. has been working for decades on setting up a strong intelligence backbone, and this is paying dividends. The loss of Moscow is a major psychological blow to Russia's naval power. It has also created a tactical issue for Russia in the Black Sea. The access to the Black Sea is controlled by Turkey under the Montreux Convention of 1936, which gives it rights to limit transit during wartime through the Bosphorus and Dardanelles Straits that connect the Black Sea to the Mediterranean, with an exemption for naval ships returning to their home bases. In early March, Turkey called for all sides to respect the convention. This puts Russia at a disadvantage because it cannot provide a replacement for the Moskva. Bay. Its Black Sea naval capability will, therefore, stand weakened as long as the war endures. Moskva's loss has greatly reduced the likelihood of an amphibious assault on Odessa and has dealt a blow to Russia's capabilities in the Black Sea. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.